The world's gone crazy for selfies, and there be whales on Vine. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Get ready for Amazon to come out with a system that can stream shows and games because there is now evidence of an Amazon Bluetooth gaming controller. Digital media tech blogger Dave Zatz published these photos of the controller at his blog. You can see it has tons of controls. There are shoulder buttons, triggers, there's this center button that maybe could take you to a menu of other Android games in Amazon's Game Circle Store. Information suggests that this new system will arrive sometime in March or April. I hope you're sitting down for this next story because what I'm about to say may cause sudden revulsion and eye rolling. In Apple's App Store on iTunes, there is now a section dedicated to apps for taking selfies. This sharing selfie section includes all sorts of programs to add effects and edit your photos, like Facetune. And there are apps for sharing selfies, like the popular Snapchat. The selfie app section is probably popular in Makati City in the Philippines, which is the selfie capital of the world, according to Time magazine. Time built a database of all the photos marked with a hashtag of selfie, and it listed which cities have the highest concentration of selfies. Manhattan and Miami were the second and third most selfie cities. If you think selfies are stale, there's always whaling. People are posting videos on Vine of them acting like a whale by diving backward with their whole body, like a whale breaching the surface of the ocean. I even did my own research to better understand this phenomenon. Planking and T-bowing may have been hot before, but the trendy challenges get more complex with videos. Along with whaling videos, you'll start to see 15-second commercials in Facebook's newsfeed. The network is adding 15-second video ads that will automatically play in your feed. A company would have to pay anywhere between $1 million and $2.5 million a day for one of these commercials, so you'll likely see them associated with companies that have deep pockets. Just like the videos that your friends post, the ads will play on mute until you tap to expand and hear the sound. And if you're looking for a new addictive app, check out a game called Threes. It's popular on iOS, but it just recently hit the Google Play Store and it costs $2. This casual puzzle game will suck you in as you try to pair matching numbers beginning with threes. That's your tech news update, but you can get more details at cnet.com update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.